Europe has at least 44 million Muslims, and many of them, except the very young and ill, are now fasting. A time for spirituality and internal cleansing, it comes around every year. But for some, it's a wholly new experience. Spanish London and Nadia is experiencing Ramadan for the first time. Before I revert to Islam, I was thinking, oh, Ramadan is just not to eat. Why, why they do that? Why people stop eating? And after when we know the meaning, I think it's, we just feel very good doing it. At the end of the day, it's just, we feel very good. It's not that hard. The East London Mosque is one of a number of centres in the UK to have various initiatives that support new Muslims. At each evening during Ramadan, the mosque offers free meals for people to break their fast, making sure no one has to eat alone. What better place than the Islamic mosque or a masjid to break your fast? Having lots of uh, you know, converse or reverts, uh, Muslim brothers and sisters who don't have the family support that they need, the usual Muslim you know, not, you know, brothers and sisters have. So they find, find themselves very isolated. And having or providing iftar from this facility you know, caters for all of those needs. Barrister Ahmed Thompson still recalls his first experience 45 years ago. When I first accepted Islam, which was August 73, uh, Ramadan came, you know, not much l later, so I, I just learned to pray and then it was time to fast. It was an extraordinary experience, that first Ramadan was from starting out and thinking, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, you know, I've, I've taken it on, but will I be able to do it? And finding that it's very easy, in fact, it's very much, it brings people together. As the sun now sets on yet another day of fasting, it seems that a new personal story dawns with each Ramadan. Yasmin Khatun Diwan, TRT World, London.